It's a lightweight bout between Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier. So you got Ron Gintry, Louisiana Lightning. You got Daniel Cormier, the two-division UFC champion. But now Dustin Poirier on the strength of a UFC interim lightweight title as a key to the city of Lafayette. He will try to add to his significant legacy in this spot here tonight. The king of Lafayette, Dustin Poirier, he loves that city and he embodies everything that the city stands for. Yeah. He's tough, he's durable. He's a guy that is looking for a fight and in the fight with Max Holloway to win the title, you saw that he's willing to go through anything to accomplish his goal. A truly special athlete is Dustin Poirier. And it's amazing to think where he was after that knockout loss to Michael Johnson in a main event in Hidalgo, Texas in 2016. Refocused, rededicated himself, and was able to produce a UFC title. All eyes on Dustin Poirier as he gets back on the fame canvas here tonight. Well, as you'd expect, a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms, one of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like yeah, Conor McGregor. Not like the notorious one. And we talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return time. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. Poirier is 31, McGregor is 32. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, six losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer, only a professional record of 22 wins, five losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Hopefully you can table the Louisiana bias here tonight as Dustin Poirier takes on Conor McGregor. You know Poirier's been chomping at the bit to get this rematch. Ask and you shall receive. He's finally gotten it, and he had to really claw and scratch to get back to this position. Conor disposed of him very quickly in the first fight. Dustin feels as though he's done everything necessary to change the outcome in the second attempt. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Oh, big elbow. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Pretty good strike there, but not a ton of meat on the bone. Kind of looks like me at the Boca Raton boxing yeah. district. He's used everything he could early in the fight, and now he's just surviving. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to go. He won't finish his fight. Now he's chasing the triangle. 
And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Oh, wow. Oh. get a finish here and this might just be a matter of time not tapping out tonight all right right into side control upper body strength figures to be put to good use here yes absolutely and you gotta look for his opponents to turn back into him he should chase guillotine but the opponent turns to the opposite side he can take his back throw his hooks in try to choke or flatten them up just go for the finish got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storm. Taken down by Dustin Poirier. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. That was a thudding leg kick. Right hand upstairs. All right, single collar tie now. Just missed on the overhand left. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the match game. Poirier's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. <laughs> Landed a big kick there. He went high on that one. Well, everybody wants a piece of Conor McGregor, of course, including his opponent here tonight. But what else can you say about McGregor's ability to manage his time and everything that has been asked of him since he vaulted to not just MMA superstardom, but A-list celebrity status? Oh! Oh, you see? You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness. He has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands look phenomenal tonight. Well, the strike lands there, but doesn't do a ton of damage because the fighter's cooked. Yeah, he's done. He's thrown everything with, it, with absolute power. And now it does not matter how many times you jam on that X button, it will not do any damage. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Dustin Ford. Wow! Look at that. Trouble's over. It's over. Unbelievable. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at two minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dustin the Diamond Bowman. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.